As it is generally known that June 5th of every year is set aside to celebrate the exit of the man of God, Prophet Temitokwe Babatunde Joshua, the founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, who passed on exactly two years ago. Meanwhile, going through the background, Prophet Temitokwe Babatunde Joshua hails from Arigidia Koko Town in Ondo State. He passed on June 5, 2021, at the age of 57 years, and whose life has impacted many souls, regardless of tribe, ethnicity, or religion. Without uh, being uh, effusive with words, I can say the man is a uh, uh, was. Uh, we, 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 we don't like to refer to him in the, in the past tense because we see his presence around us. He's a man that is, is, a, is a man of God personified. He's, he's a gentleman, a passionate man a kind man, a generous man. Yeah, I've never seen the kind of person before. There's someone like me that uh, I'm, I'm not a poor man, but when you when you see, when you meet Pastor Joshua, he wanted to leave you with something to get, to take away, not uh, unlike there are many people who want uh, to take from you. At each time you met him, he's looking around to us, what can I give to this man to go away with? In his lifetime, all the teachers, all the spiritual items are given to us free of charge. Whereas these things are sold in other uh, religious organizations that I don't want to mention so for, for, for want of uh, being crucified. <laughs> well, the servant of God is one, born out of a generation. We don't have such being in any century. And in a particular generation and generation unborn, Prophet T.B. Joshua is a phenomenon. And uh, being a servant of God and a prophet who comes from an humble background, he has been able to define to us how Jesus was born in a manger and he was able to move from Nazareth to Jerusalem. And that is the story of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I know that... Uh, the prophet, when he was alive, he touched so many lives and even touched the life of my communities. Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke about the future, speak about tomorrow today. And the man of God in synagogue that we know started his ministry early enough and called it Synagogue of All Nations when those who were around him were just friends and neighbors. That was a prophecy that is not common. Synagogue, Church of All Nations. Well, Prophet T.B. Joshua will be remembered for many things, many, many things all over the world. Being a Tanzanian, I would say that uh, he, he loved people. He was a man of people. He loved people. He was a man who helped, who liked to see everybody living at a level where they can manage their lives. Uh, I remember, I vividly remember that um, when I first came here, the first time I came here, I said, I want to work with you. I want you to join me to do the work of God. And from there, I started bringing people from Tanzania to come and pray here in the church. But also, he was a person who uh, I traveled with from all over the world. Like he went to South America, he went to Korea, all over the world he traveled. And in every place we went, First of all, would go to the community to help the community. Live alone, he went there for the word of God, but he would also help the communities around the places where we went. So he was a man of people. He was a man who cared about the quality of life of people around the world. So every time I see things, you remember that he left, he left a legacy. In every country you go, there's something that Prophet T.B. Joshua did in all those nations he visited. And my country was one of the nations that he visited. And I remember Prophet D.B. Joshua landed in Tanzania during our, our, fifth, our fourth government. During when we finished the election, he came to pray for our nation. He touched the soil of Tanzania and he prayed during the inauguration of a new president in Tanzania. And he also helped a lot of communities in the northern part of Tanzania, the Maasai people. He helped them with food and a lot of things. 
So he was a man of people, a man who cared about the quality of life of people. The late Prophet T.B. Joshua was known globally as a charismatic preacher, philanthropist, mentor, and caregiver who demonstrated love and unity to people during his lifetime. I've uh, been a member of uh, Synagogues of All Nations from 1992. Okay, in fact, uh, my mother was a member, I'm a member, and my children are also members. Okay. And uh, there's a lot one can say about Prophet T.B. Joshua. Well, you know, you can't say too much. I say just a little bit. I'll tell you that Prophet T.B. Joshua is a prophet of the Most High God. He was a faithful servant, a willing servant to Lord Jesus Christ, his master. You know, when people talk about the legacy of T.B. Joshua, it stares right at your eyes, you know. It stares at you. Look at his Quan Church, synagogue of all nations that he built from scratch with his members. It's a unique edifice, edifice in Nigeria or anywhere else. In fact, to me, he was like an architect, a planner uh, of a, 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 what I call a, 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 I mean, a, a high level, uh, I mean, you know, he did architecture. Well, to me, it was just amazing that I can put up such an edifice called Synagogue of All Nations. And look at what's going on there. You know, when we talk about legacy, we have to talk about the human being, we, we men and women, really, are the legacy of T.B. Joshua. I'm here to celebrate the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. So, okay. so Prophet T.B. Joshua has been a part of my life for the last 16 years and um, has had a huge impact on me and on my family. So for me to be here is to honor him and honor his legacy. His heart for people, um, his heart for giving, wanting to make a difference in people's life, um, sacrificing so much of his time. He was a man who gave a lot of his time for people all the time, not just sometimes, all the time. And he loves people. He had, you can experience the love of God when you're around him. Um, and that's something that really touched me. And uh, you know, he was a father to me um, and a mentor and he spoke into our lives and it's, it's had a profound impact. You know, just one encounter with somebody like Prophet TV Joshua has the impact of ch changing your life forever. Um, and yes, uh, you know, just being here for me is a privilege to, to honor him and to honor the person that he was and the legacy that he's left and, and how it's made us become better people just by having known him. I'm here today to celebrate, like everybody else, with the life of TB, the pastor TB Joshua. To me, he was more than a pastor. He was a friend and he was somebody I admired. I admired him simply because when I look at how he, his dedication to God, his dedication to the church, his dedication to humanity, I remember man of God f for a long time. I know him a long time ago. And I saw how he even taught the children. When initially in his early ministry, he taught the children. But he not only taught the children, he taught at all levels of the ministry. And hence, he helped to build people, build a church, and he built the um, spiritual upliftment of many, many, many people. Another thing I would really, really impress me was even though he was pastor of this church when the church started he like everybody else I saw him live in cement some pastors they would just stand by and pay because they're pastors they would be you know think they're too big for that but pastor T.B. Joshua he worked with everybody else he, he was just like any other person and he worked and by seeing him work you had that energy or that desire to do and to work along with him. Putting God first and putting Jesus first. We have seen this character of Christ like in him. And that is why all over the world people identified with him because he gave all that he had. When he was here with us before his transition we discovered the love of Christ in him and we discovered 
he was a man who demonstrates the very nature of God. Following the legacy he left behind and the series of his prophecy, which eventually came to pass during and after his lifetime, facilitating people converging together at the mountain to mark the exit of a great man, the event also featured followers from diverse foreign nations and Nigerians from different states showing the spirit of togetherness while celebrating the year's remembrance. I'm here to celebrate the legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua um, and uh, just appreciate the tremendous impact he had on my life and so many other people's lives. Um, I think the first thing that comes to mind is that he was really a humble man, a man that led by example, that we can all learn from, the way that he loved people and served people, the way that he loved God and served God. And um, I will always remember him for being a humble servant of God, impacting others, so many others selflessly. Awashi remembrance Babawa in Olua. Don't want to pack with their words. You know, legacy won't live on. Prophet T.B. Joshua. Baba no Jeffu Bubua. Nino Lua gone even in Ara because he won one. I tell you, cotton fee called Bubua is something about he fair. Love. And he always say that let love lead. In other words, Jackie Fe could lead the one in Bubon Tabashi. So he's a man of love. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a great man of God. Uh, he's a prophet of our time. Prophet of the world. Uh, we thank God for his life. More especially, me and my family and Nigeria at large for, for, for having him in our time. I remember him beca because of the way that he taught me the way to Jesus. And then he didn't only teach about love. He showed us love. And then when you met him in his office, he made you feel as if you are the most special and precious person in the whole entire world in that moment. He made you feel loved. And on another note, the, the issue of giving, when I didn't know him yet, I didn't know that giving it gives us the opportunity to reshape our destinies. So he gave us the, the secret to blessing. And then from ever since we learned that, we have been practicing it with my family every year. Um, I miss his teachings because they were full of the spirit, they were full of the word. And then we thank God that his legacy lives on because the foundation that he started is keeps on continuing. Blaine Joshua, wife of the late founder, led the congregation while the candlelight procession took place at the mountain in commemoration of the second anniversary with dignitaries not hiding their feelings while interacting with Newsbuster TV correspondent. Here to celebrate the life of my mentor, my prophet, my father in the Lord, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, for what God has said, yes. I will find it very difficult to describe him all because he was a man that has so much passion for soul winning. He was a man that loves God. He was a man that despite the position God has put him, he was full of humility. He was full of passion for the services of God and humanity. I remember him for his life, for his philanthropic life. He was the man that God used to teach us what giving is. He said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And ever since I heard that, that was a word of knowledge. I've been reading it in the Bible. But when God used Prophet T.B. Joshua to bring more light to that particular word, I saw the benefit. Because when we started it, when we started doing that which he instructs us to do, that is impacting in other people's life, investing in other lives, I'll tell you, my life and my family's life has never remained the same.